Jeremiah's back, he's on the attack with the sword of the spirit, the shield of faith, the breastplate of righteousness, feed shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, and my head, the hope of salvation, my helmet. We got, we're all ready to go. We're equipped. We're going to stand. And speaking of stand, after doing so, stand, as Paul said, we're going to listen to that song, Standing on the Promises of God. Now, we're looking at doll. I don't think I had this in my previous list here. As you know, I many of you are following. Uh, I, I rate doll pretty high. Um, I, I have... Um, I have doll uh, number 14, I think, yeah, no, number 14 on my list. That's pretty high on my list of favorite artists. Um, I like his clarity. I like his light. See, when, when, when Dahl reminds me of his, probably his buddy Norman, which means they, they're clean across the board. It's well lit. Uh, I'm a light fan, as you can tell. I'm really into light. So that's why I'm a little bit more of a Monet fan, even though he's not a landscape artist. Uh, he's very good with light. But we'll talk about that later. Uh, Monstead's good with light. He's my number one painter. So let's move on. Um, as we're going to listen to Standing on the Promises of God as we get into today's lesson. Today's lesson is very easy. We're going to look at a couple of pictures from the younger brother of Oswald, uh, of uh, Andres. Okay? And we've got scriptures all over the place. And um, as you know, we're, we're going through the Covenant playlist right now, big time. Uh, I have not gone through the um, April showers. That's under B in this ministry. Remember, everything has a number now. Everything has a number or a letter. Now, it's going to get complicated when you get to subtext. You know, if you go to faith, it's not going to be that simple if you go to B and C. As time goes on, you'll see that A is supposed to be introduction to a concept under these 76 trombones here, okay? 76 playlists, 76 subjects, okay? Everything is simplified here now. Uh, when I first started this ministry, we were all over the place, which is okay. That was the way my dad liked to preach. However, we don't do that out here. But I do have popcorn uh, apostolic time right now. Whenever we look at pictures and paintings, I'm going to bounce all over the place. I like that. Uh, I never know where I'm going. Uh, and, of course, that is cool. Uh, when you go to the enumerated lessons here, uh, uh, playlists, which are subjects, you're going to be totally, it's going to be a complete organized situation, okay? It will be on that subject. Otherwise, we're going to have this April showers coming up, uh, not today, where I talk about combining subjects, and at this time we're going to use the word covenant, the name of this ministry. We're going to use that word and that concept as our glue to putting subjects together. I'm very happy with what happened last year, 12 months ago, where we had April showers, and it came out perfect for a lesson for me. I think I know what's going to resonate with you, so... Uh, I'm very happy with B in this ministry where, we, where I teach you how to put subjects together. Now, obviously, we're going to put subjects together as we read the Bible and so forth. However, that's going to be, be specifically for that. Uh, I just went through the book of Psalms. Uh, I'm going to go through Psalm 1 through 12. I just did a review. And I did a review of Proverbs 1 through 9. I'm going through it again. This will be the last time I go through Psalm 1 through 50 for the year coming up and Psalm, uh, Proverbs 1 through 10. Also, there's an overview coming of the book of Isaiah, and that's coming shortly. So th those will be available, and, and I don't know if I'm going to put those in a category or not. That, that's, uh, this ministry is a living organism, so I may make that H and I or something like that so that we can... Totally, we can completely focus on the book of Psalms and the book of Proverbs. However, I, I, I can di dissect the, the book study and put everything where it belongs, such as one subject under uh, Proverbs chapter 3. Proverbs chapter 3 is very difficult to get through. 
for a Bible student. There must be 20 separate important points that Solomon makes. I have to try to pick things that are the most salient for you, the most important, because this is a ministry that is on the go. This is We can't have a million videos here. Once I get through with Dahl and these guys showing you some beautiful pictures that I enjoy looking at and, and putting some scriptures to them and talking about beauty is one of the main ideas here, obviously. Uh, um, I'm not going to go through any more paintings anymore, and the pictures will be the last thing I go through, and, the, and we're going to talk about scriptures and pictures. This is scriptures and paintings. Spontaneous, on the go, okay? I like this. Um, it also gives my mind a, a chance to rest. Now, everything has a category now. Um, uh, you come here, you should be able to, uh, you have to do a little scrolling, but no more than 80 components at this time, 81, or something like that. Okay? Everything has a number, everything belongs somewhere, so uh, I'm very happy with this. When I give a lesson, I, I have the ability to, to break down the lesson or the components and tell you what the subjects are and identify them for you here in this covenant playlist of subjects, okay? Just to remind you what's going on here. Pretty soon I'm not going to do this anymore. Uh, you know, I, I'm going to just start teaching and shutting down so we can reduce the volume of videos, okay? I keep saying that. I'm going to stop saying that because uh, it, it bears repeating uh, that we're, we're going a little fast talking. And we're ready to wrap this ministry up in terms of getting into a lot of teaching. There's going to be a format here, and that's going to be it. I'm going to start working on music. We're, we're going to get the street ministry probably going again. Um, there'll be a couple of other things going. Uh, I don't know yet, but uh, we'll see, okay? But uh, it's a wonderful living organism here, and I'm very happy with the painters of his glory. That's what this is. Popcorn and beauty, and, and I should put up there, it's the painters of his glory. In other words, I really enjoy originality in painting, such as Mr. HD here. And I really enjoy looking at their paintings. I also get a chance to travel, because these guys are letting me travel into Norway in a very personal way, and, uh, um, and I just really enjoy it. And, uh, pretty soon we're looking at pictures of the same uh, scenario, okay? And we'll, we'll, we'll get to scriptures. This is Jeremiah with New Covenant. As many of you know, we, we're getting into beauty and, of course, popcorn here, bouncing around, enjoying, uh, never knowing where we're going, kind of here. And, uh, and I enjoy that. As we, uh, and, and, of course, I, I, I don't want to repeat things over and over again. That's the problem with uh, having a lot of popcorn. You, you might repeat things too much, but that's okay. Let's go. We're, we're, we're going to live with that. Jeremiah, are you on fire? Yes, we're listening to the voice of the horn of Gabriel that we can get out of here. We do not want to miss the horn. We, we, we want to be ready, and we want to have an active love for Jesus Christ, and just think about loving Jesus like most of the time here. I mean, that's it. That, that's the new theme song here. I don't have that available, but all you have to do is go to uh, D in this ministry playlist, and you can listen to I Love You, Jesus. Now, I'm going to clean those songs up. I threw them on there, but they need cleaning, and some of the stuff needs to be redone. There are too many uh, bass notes and stuff like that. You know, I have to put in some, what they call in music, inversions, and I'm, I've been very weak on inversions, okay? You, you have to play inversions when you play music pretty much all the time, if, if it's going to sound professional. In other words, you just can't have five C notes hitting at one time. That's what ends up happening. Boom! You know, you get all this white noise or something. Let's just move on. Uh, and I look forward to doing that as this ministry is it, it, closing. And, and it's closing in on 76 playlists and so forth. And there'll, there'll be ABC, introduction, intermediate, advanced kind of thing going on under each subject. And I'm basically done with the entire ministry here in terms of spending a lot of time on this. Uh, and as, as aforementioned, we don't want a million videos on, on, this, on this, and I'll probably have live uh, lessons, then I'll just cut, I'll, I'll shut the whole thing down. I won't record it, and I won't uh, put it up on the playlist. It's going to be live, it's done. That's the only way to run a ministry where 
you don't have people scrolling too much. Let, let's let that subject go up. I'm beating that up to help to help you understand why we're talking a little fast right now. I don't like doing this, but we have to do this. Um, we, we can't go slow, which, which is I prefer. I prefer uh, a lot of go here, you know, and when you're playing music, you know. I prefer a lot of go. I prefer slow dancing here, you know, uh, but let's go. New Covenant, Jeremiah, he is on fire. We're always talking about number 14 in this ministry, which is the rapture. Get us out of here. Let's go be with Jesus. He loves you, and if he loves you, 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 you know you should be glad, you know. They had that rock and roll song. With a love like that, you know you should be glad, and we are. And we're going to rejoice that we have a reliable preserver, Jesus. Because that's what his name means. He's going to preserve you. Let's get going. Now, we have Hans Dahl here, which is the wrong painter. But I, I don't think I had that under the previous uh, video. Um, because we have uh, Hans, and then we have, of course, Andreas, which we just put up. And now we have his brother, Oswald. And that's 14, 15, and 16, respectively. Let's go. Let's rock and roll. Let's get this job done. And I say rock and roll dangerously because rock and roll, unfortunately, after the early 70s, was taken over by a satanic music. As, as in the early 60s, late 60s and early 70s, it was, uh, it was not a necessarily a demonic organization at all, as far as I remember. But that's more along the lines of pop music, not rock. Jeremiah, what are we going to do? Let's listen to Standing on the Promises of God. We get ready, and we'll let Doll go away here. HD, I call it. High definition. Doll. Standing on the promises of Christ my King. Through eternal ages, let his praises ring. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to praise Jesus forever. Now here's, here's a younger brother. Now this could be considered a borderline masterpiece because the arch, arch is done so well. But I'm going to go ahead and say this is a semi-A painting here. Once again, these guys like lots of dark areas in their paintings, and I'm not a fan of that. Uh, but we, we won't get into critic, being hypercritical. It's just that this guy right here is more my style. However... These guys are very good at detail, and they're just wonderful painters, of course. But eh, the darkness, eh, they do it all the time. And I don't know if it's for contrast or something. We, we used to call it char -skittle. Let's go, let's go. Jeremiah, I'm standing on the promises of Christ my King. And he has promised that he will never leave you nor forsake you. I will be with you always until the end, okay? That's a new small speaker I've got. I like it. It's a tiny speaker. It goes to the computer, takes up little space. It's lacking a you know, quality sound, but that's okay. We're going to go, go, go. Okay, Forget about that. Jeremiah, this is your first Oswald painting, yes. And we're going to talk about standing on the promises of God right now. It's the second hymn that you can click under C in this ministry. And if I were you, I'd listen to these hymns quite often. My music is here for more fun than anything else. Obviously, if you're singing about loving Jesus, it's not necessarily fun. But a lot of the music there is just more about me having fun with the guitar, playing solos. This is where the real stuff is. This is where the rubber meets the road. Standing on the promises of God. After putting on the full armor of God, what do you do? You stand. And the last part that I mentioned was the helmet of salvation. The hope of salvation, which is really the top, uh, that is the top confidence that you should have, right? Let's move on. This is a Sunday night here, and we're getting Bible study rolling here. Once again, a nice job here. Uh, I would call this another semi-masterpiece uh, or an A. I wouldn't give it a masterpiece. Uh, it's excellently done. The building is done uh, once again, to perfection, both of these brothers have a problem with light source, in my opinion. They, I can't figure out what their light source is uh, part of the time. I, it doesn't mean I'm not criticizing. I'm just saying that th that's the style they want. And it has its own beauty to it. Don't get me wrong. Multiple light sources is, is cool. But I prefer one light source in a bright painting. 
And why do these, both of these boys like to do dark, basic paintings? It's kind of scary to me. It's kind of like, uh, it's kind of eerie. However, we're not going to worry about that. And once again, when we, they're people, when they do people, it's absolutely beautiful. They're some of the best people painters of all time. Their buildings are obviously very well done. Clouds usually done, water nice. But as usual, off and on, their, their uh, bushes and horticulture is a little lacking. It's not that they can't do it. They just don't want to do it, obviously. Let's move on. Another A, B quality painting from these guys. We're standing on the promises of God. Standing on the promises of Christ, my King, through eternal ages, let his praises ring. Lifting up our voices. Jeremiah, let's get back to the painting here as we are standing. And we are actively loving Jesus Christ, thinking about him, and having warm hearts for the Father and the Son, and their separate presence, which is their Holy Ghost. Once again, this to me is a mediocre painting for them. Uh, it doesn't mean it's not a, it's a bad painting. I think it's done very well. Almost everything these guys do, in my opinion, is done very well. But let's move on. Uh, this one here is kind of a mediocre one. You can find some beauty in here in terms of, you know, the building is done very nicely. These guys are really good with buildings. Um, the shrubbery here is what I would call mediocre. And the background here is done very well. I like the look of that. I like that back here. That's probably my favorite thing about this painting is this area here in the background. I think that, that hillside there is beautiful. I think it's wonderfully done. And, of course, the, the, the centerpiece, is, I think it's done well also. Let's move on as we're standing on the promises of God, lifting up our voices, singing, and we're, we're worshiping Jesus Christ. Once again, Jeremiah, you're right. Uh, these guys have too many dark areas. And, and maybe they're just trying to have a charoscuro moment where they, where they highlight their high-definition people, which is their forte. They're just as good as anybody else with bushes and water uh, and sky, of course. But uh, their people are a little bit better than 90% of all of the uh, painters who ever lived, probably. They're just excellent people painters, honestly. And we're just going to rejoice in what they're giving us. The darkness kind of, once again, you know, it's kind of eerie to me, but it's just shade, and uh, we're going to go with that, okay? And let's center the picture here. We might make a close-up of, of these people here as we highlight what these guys really do well kind of here. And let's do that. Let's do that right now. Okay? Through eternal ages, we'll be singing Jesus, thank you, Jesus, over and over, every day, every day, throughout eternity. And, of course, if you're saved, you got a reason to be happy. Once again, if you look at these people here, these guys are really um, excellent painters. Um, I'm going to give this a... I'm going to give this a quasi, almost, masterpiece look. It's very close. And what you got to do with this painting, you have to come in on it. Most of their paintings, you back off. This one, you need to get up close, in my opinion, um, to see the quality and so forth. I would give Oswald... Um, Quasi props, as they say in America. I would say this is um, uh, almost a masterpiece. It's very close, very well done um, for this guy. If it wasn't for the dark center there, you know, we might want to just go ahead and say masterpiece theater. But the problem, of course, is that dark area. There's something about these guys. We won't go into that. Let's have blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. Jesus is mine, oh what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God. God purchased your errors through his son's pain, and we praise him for that eternally. Let's go to Oswald's next painting. Now I get a closer look at this one, which I, ha I haven't taken the time. I like this one. I'm going to go from A to quasi, almost masterpiece with this one. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that one. Now this one, 
I'm going to go ahead and call this a masterpiece. And once again, why are these guys always dark? I don't know. But I'm going to give this quasi and masterpiece uh, level. That's how much I like this one. In spite of all of these these guys repeatedly, uh, I don't want to spoil it for you. Yeah, that's kind of a personal reaction. But it's just a little too dark for me. That's why I might give it a quasi, almost masterpiece. Well done painting. And let's just talk about uh, visions of rapture burst on my sight. When you have blessed assurance, let's talk about what blessed assurance means. Blessed assurance means that you're confident that God's going to come through for you. And the reason why you're confident is because the love is in your heart. You're being energized by love juice. And that's why it's blessed confidence. You're not just confident in God. You're confident in God with the presence of God's love in you. And that's why this song is so significant. It is Paul the Apostle saying what, Jeremiah? These three abide. Okay? Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. All is at rest. I and my Savior are happy and blessed. The city was laid out like a square. The place you're going to is laid out like a square. And that's New Jerusalem. Let's move on. As you can see, once again, these guys do everything so beautiful. As we, as we isolate certain things and... The rocks are done just very well. Obviously, the sky is one of the best. These, these guys are some of the best beautiful sky painters of all time. And this is what makes them so significant is, is the sky is where Jesus is. And, and, and when I look at the sky, I think of the rapture cloud. We're going to meet relatives and people in a cloud here any minute now. And that's what we're doing. Visions of rapture are bursting on your sight because you love Jesus Christ and these three abide, okay? These three abide. Now, these three don't always abide, but they should. And they do in a lot of converts. Some converts don't have all three. I see people on television, they don't have all three. They have confidence, but they obviously don't love God. They're there for probably money and pride and so forth. We won't go into that. That means that they are Corinthians 13 people who have faith without love. And that's horrible. They're drawing nigh unto God with their minds, but their heart is not with God. We're here to warm our hearts up to Jesus Christ, not just get information. Not to have power over devils periodically. Let's move on to the next painting. It's a nice one. Okay, what do you say about this one, Jeremiah? I'm going to give this masterpiece quality. Um, I'm surprised they backed off the clouds. If he, would have, if he would have done the clouds here, I would give this a definite masterpiece. Right now, it's a quasi-masterpiece. I would, I would give this a masterpiece, but also quasi. Because the sky looks undone. Evidently, he wants to showcase his beautiful ability to make people look really nice. As though you're right there. Obviously, the one, one of the skills that both of these brothers have uh, been gifted with, and they are exercising that gift, right? Jeremiah, are you on fire? Listen, listen, we are just enjoying this. Uh, let's go take a look at these people down a little bit lower. Wonderful job with dirt and so forth, and... The blankets and whatever. These guys are glorifying Jesus. Now it looks a little better when we darken this and we shrink the clouds. A lot of these paintings, uh, you stand back and get closer, it changes your perspective. Sometimes when you shrink it, it looks a little better, you know, stuff like that. But we don't have time for that. <laughs> no. Uh, this is a Bible teacher. I'm a Bible teacher. I'm not really a art teacher, but uh, we are doing some art ed here, but it's cursory and it's, it's, it's kickback. You know, we're not really taking notes or talking about brush strokes, uh, mid foreground comparison quality or nothing like that. Obviously these guys make buildings top notch, they're beautiful here in the distance. 
smoke and so forth and, and uh, ships and so forth. And let's move on. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Let's go into Christ our Lord is risen today. One, one of our classic uh, um, war, um, hymns, of course, as many of you know. Christ, and that of course relates to Palm Sunday or rather to Eshtar or the Resurrection Day. They call it Easter, but we call it Resurrection Day. I don't really know what Eshtar really means pertaining to the gospel. Uh, that's more of a heathen approach. We call it Resurrection Day, and, and that's what we call it, okay? Christ, our Christ, Christ, Lord is risen today. Hallelujah. Christ our Lord is risen today. Tons of men and angels say what? Hallelujah. That means praise the Lord. That means God has done something for us. And we're just rejoicing in that. Why not? Uh, what about this one? Once again, why do we have so many dark areas? Um, it seems to plague these guys. I think they want to highlight their ability to do people. And, I, and I, as a criticism, I would say wrong answer. As a matter of fact, this has so many dark areas... I'm going to call this a quasi-masterpiece or an A. Obviously, a lot of skill, talent, hard work going on here. So, you know, we're going to say well done and thank you for sharing this moment somewhere in Italy or Spain. I don't know where this is. Obviously, this is kind of a Catholic uh, presentation, most of these guys' paintings. And we're going to go ahead and tolerate that, okay? Remember, Catholicism is basically hell on wheels. It's horrible. However, some people are going to leave Catholicism and get saved. That's why Jeremiah, the Bible says to flee, get out of there. The same thing we tell TV minions, the people who belong to TV preachers. We tell them to get out of there. Okay? Paul said, withdraw thyself. Get away from the greedy people, the liars, twister donuts. Okay? These people are probably Catholic, something we won't surmise. But this obviously is a beautiful painting, of course. Let's move on. Christ our Lord is risen today, and we just sing hallelujah. This is a wonderful time. This is Sunday evening. We should have a Sunday service here. As you know, we have Sunday, we have daily Bible service here almost every day here. Um, and that's what we do. We have it in my living room here. We had a couple of people coming over here periodically uh, uh, to support and so forth, but they decided to go to a regular church, and that's where they probably need, need to go. I have to work on this almost seven days a week, okay? In order for this to fly, you know, this is going to have to work. All these playlists have to be in order. So if somebody, uh, the Lord, puts something on their heart to learn, I'm here for them to give them the denotation of the dictionary. And the only time I'm going to give you something that is extrapolatory, eisegetical, is when I know what I'm talking about. I'm very much into strict structural vocabulary of the glossary. However, when you go to my uh, uh, April showers, when you get to um, uh, some of the lessons specific, I'm going to combine subjects and I'm going to give you some revelation and so forth. And especially when you go to science, most of my science, most people don't know. Because most people in America are not science oriented in their Bible. Most people in America, unfortunately, were very similar to William, William Penn. William Penn and the Quakers and the, and the Pilgrims formed the psychology of America. Unfortunately, they didn't do a very good job in getting into a lot of grammar. And that's very unfortunate. Um, in other words, America has never really gotten as a composite index, as a group, they've never gotten a, a, a grade above a C. Now that the TV preachers have become popular, they've gone down to a D and an F as far as the populace. Okay? Those are the facts. That's why it's called a falling away. It's also a falling away from grammar and simple concepts. A lot of people in America go to work, they concentrate. But when they go to church, they turn their brain off for some reason. 
and it's not good. You, should, you shouldn't go to church and turn your brain off and go to work and turn your brain on. You should turn your brain on when you go to work and you go to church. Here we go with another what I would call an interesting painting. And let's get going. As we're gonna get, why don't we have another song here? Let's go to Jesus Paid It All, one of the standard hymns of Christianity in America here and elsewhere, where we say that you cannot pay for one's sin and you cannot offer anything to God uh, as any points for you. You can't do it because all of your points are stained. God, I did this. What do you think? And then God says, that's a very nice thing you did, Jeremiah, but you blew it the other day. So that ruined everything. So Jesus had to pay it all. He had to be a perfect person in a human body and not sin and then say, I'll take Jeremiah's pain. I'll take his pain. For some reason, I, I love Jeremiah. I, I, for some reason, it's amazing grace. It's amazing. You know, you know, behold what manner of love the Father has given unto us, that we, that Jeremiah, who is not perfect by no means, has decided to mercy and care for me. And the big care was on the cross, right? We, that one, that's our central uh, point of our religion here, isn't it? Protestantism. Let's go on as we think about the deep, deep love of Jesus and, and uh, why we just think about being with Jesus Christ basically all the time. Just Okay, can we sit around Jesus Christ and relax with him and get away from this murder? There was a, there was a murderer who ran by my window here last night and I just talked to the police officer and they found a gun over here and so forth. The world is getting worse and, and, and we're going to rub elbows with this. Some of you have recently rubbed elbows with violence and, and and family problems and murder and violence and it's going to get worse and uh, the, and, and some of you I've gotten involved with it a long time ago. Um, I used to teach in the hood. I've had guns on me all the, a couple of times. Uh, I've seen horrible things. My point is that we, we're not going to run from um, ugly because we like to focus on beauty here. It's just that we, we want to focus on beauty. We want to be very positive. The last two years of this ministry have been very positive. I will get into Isaiah, a lot of negativity. Um, Isaiah is a book that gets into uh, punishment in detail. It's one, of, it's one of the most prolific and uh, profound recollections from God, from his record, about how he's going to punish people. And it's horrible what's going to happen to them as we get details through the book of Isaiah and elsewhere. Okay? Let's get to Jesus paid it all. Now, this, of course, is actually a very nice painting. Uh, once again, we have a lot of dark ambiguity here. I don't know what's going on here. It's still a very nice painting. Uh, we're going to move on. I don't like looking at this painting. We have to look for detail a little here, which is nice detail. These guys obviously are top notch. Let's move on. This is kind of a... Once again, we're back to this dark shadows thing. Now, his brother painted the same painting, I think, and they both were probably sitting side by side. I just talked to my brothers here today, and um, I really enjoyed hearing their voices. I moved uh, to a distant land here, kind of. But uh, um, Palm Tree looks a little different than his brothers. Uh, it's a darker area maybe here, but they both use the same skill. And let's move on. Uh, uh, what I like about this painting is, is that building looks... They look really good. These guys are top notch. The people look nice, and this foreground looks really good. I feel like I'm kind of walking on it. So this is considered a masterpiece. Um, uh, I'll call it a quasi or an A. I don't know if I'll go all the way. Once again, Jeremiah, you, you, you made a good point maybe. Why do we have to have such large areas of darkness which most painters don't do. And they do it repeatedly. Once again, we have another painting where I don't really know the light source. And I'm wondering why they keep doing this, but we'll let that go. Let's get some music going with Jesus Paid It All. Now, this is considered probably a masterpiece for a couple of reasons, a lot of technical ability. I'm going to go ahead and give this a quasi-masterpiece. 
I'm not going to go all out. Um, the people detail and the boat detail, the water, the sky, and the buildings are top notch. However, I'm going to go ahead and give it a quasi because I just don't see a light source here and, and, and we'll let that go. Let's listen to as we take a, a little longer look at this and look at some of the detail here as to uh, and we'll move on. This is a, there's still a nice painting. It's a, I, I give it a, I give it an almost what a friend we have in Jesus. Let's go with that one. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a friend we have in Jesus. When we get to titles, i got to get into that some more, okay? There's 12 in this ministry, 13. And I just took some notes on it. So those of you interested, Master and Lord will be your first title. That will be uh, 13A. 13A will be Master and Lord. Because that's where titles start for the master. Um, John 13. Okay? Oh, what needless pain we bear. So let's pray more. That's what that's what that's saying. Let's look at this and let's move on. Once again, this is a quasi-master here. You know what? I'm not going to give it master status, but I will give it a quasi. It's, it's a camera. It's a little bent here. Hold on. There we go. That's a little, that's a little better. Let's move on to another one of Mr. Oswald. Ozzy Ock. Now this is what I would call a masterpiece because we have a, we have a light source. We have clarity all the way across. Once again, there's dark areas. They seem to demand that, but that's okay. They have some paintings where they don't have dark areas. But I'm going to go ahead and call this a straight, what they call a straight up masterpiece. Okay? It has continuity. It's a little narrow for me. I don't like narrow paintings very much. Let us continue with this theme of this song. Who will all our sorrows share? The Lord's not going to leave you when you have sorrow. You'll feel His presence. Okay? He can take you. He's stronger than you are. So go ahead and take it to the Lord in prayer. Jesus saves. What a friend we have. Beautiful painting here. You can look at this for a while. This is, uh, these guys are top notch. When it comes to detail, clarity, um, uh, they, 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 they speak of travel for me. I, I'm there and I, I'm enjoying being there. You know, I'm enjoying these people. I'm enjoying the, the, the scenery. I'm thinking about having some uh, 9th, 20th century pizza, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm thinking about Jesus here and the beauty of his creation. Evidently, there's some sort of volcano here. And that might give us an in inclination or a, a insight as to where we are, right? Are we weak and heavy laden? Is there trouble anywhere? Cumbered with a load of care. That's the proper line. Cumbered with a load of care. Precious Savior Jesus, that's your refuge. You just go right to him and uh, you will find your peace or your solace there, right? You'll find your unity. You'll find what you need. Do your friends despise to take... Have they turned their back on you? Take it to the Lord. You'll be fine as wine, as they say. <laughs> Let's move on. Beautiful here. Let's move on. I, I call this a masterpiece here. I, I, I think it's one of, one of the best from Ozzy. Here we have Jeremiah. You're right about these guys really enjoying darkness. And they really do. And I would give this a masterpiece, but it's just too dark for me. I'm going to give it an A, okay? What a friend we have indeed. You wake up, and there Jesus is. You go to sleep, there he is again. And of course, the sky here is done beautifully. As a matter of fact, it almost wants me to give them a quasi, or him, 
I, I, I speak of these guys as a team. They, 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 they have the same uh, skill set kind of. I, I'm going to say that the clouds almost want to give me a quasi-masterpiece status. These guys have some of the most amazing sky I've ever seen. And of course, we're, I'm a big sky fan because that's where Jesus is. That's where the Lord is. What a friend. This is, this is obviously an excellent job of your sky. I almost want to give it, but all this dark area here, I'm a little leery of that, so let's move on. Uh, that's just a personal opinion. I'll give my opinion too much. What a friend we have in Jesus. All your sins and griefs to bear, and we're going to continue to rejoice in the God of our salvation. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, right? The only name given amongst men. That's the only name. You don't need any other name. If anybody tells you that, tell them, uh, sorry, Charlie. Okay? That's fourth grade grammar for a Protestant red letter edition man. Okay? Jeremiah, are you on fire? Yeah, we put on the same yoke of Jesus Christ, and that is he's master and we ain't. Okay? Let's go. We're going to take a break on the music. We'll go to Onward Christian Soldier with a guitar solo maybe here. Do I put a... One of these has a guitar solo. This is Onward Christian Soldier where we talk about number 24 in this ministry, which is war. This is a war. And, and, and we're here to help you win the war. We're here to help you and to boost you so that you stay on the narrow road. If you get off, we're here to boost you to get back on. That's the bottom line of Christianity. Okay? Let's get going as we look at this painting here. Now, what do I say about this one? I'm going to go ahead and give this a... I'm going to give this a quasi masterpiece right here. This is a quasi for me. We can't seem to get this plumb line here straight. The horizon line. I, I'm, I'm going to... Let's, matter of fact, let's look at some detail on this one. Some of these paintings, you, you can really appreciate these guys because they're some of the best detailers of all time. There's no question about it. Um, their ability to de do, do detail is astonishing and beautiful. Now, see, when we look up closer to this painting, you, you, it goes to me from a A to a quasi, uh, almost masterpiece for me. Uh, and what I have a little bit of a hard time with is right here again. They have a, they, they have a tendency to throw in a lot of dark areas, and it kind of, it, it kind of, as an art fan, it kind of makes me wonder. Once again, their water is superb. These guys are just beautiful. You want to look at that water and just think of Jesus. Uh, Jesus makes such beautiful art, especially the ocean. As many of you know, I'm an ocean fan. My favorite painter of all time, subject-wise, is obviously Willie T. From the east, eastern seaboard of the United States, he likes to paint the ocean. I call him a Surf City. You know, he is a Surfer USA. And uh, you can't beat him for the beach. Uh, I spent most of my life, or a lot of my life, free time, sitting at the beach right here. Just looking at it and watching the light dance and listening and bringing a burger and some sugar water. And obviously having some worship music with me and just sitting there and enjoying it. And just saying, how beautiful, how great thou art. And, and just relaxing. When you get up closer, I have to say this is a quasi. I'm not going to give it a masterpiece, uh, um, though. I'm not going to do that. What a friend we have in Jesus. Now we're going to get into Onward Christian Soldier, marching as to war with the cross of Jesus, going on before. What leads us is the cross of Jesus. That's what... The, that is our sign. That's our symbol. And it means that somebody loved us and we're loving them back and we seek to please them. And he created me and he died for me. So I think he deserves a little bit of my time and a little bit of my energy. Duh. <laughs> Duh, as they say here in America and in the... In, 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 what do they call it? Valley talk in California. Yo, dude, valley man. Tubular, yeah, man. 
way, no way, way, man. <laughs> I used to, I almost moved to San Fernando. I did some deliveries there and I knew some people there a little bit. Uh, and my niece moved just north of there. Let's move on as we, we're going to get ready to turn into what a friend we have in Jesus. And now we're going to go to Onward Christian Soldier. This is war. Uh, 24 in this ministry is war, right? Where I share with you that this is a war for the soul and the ownership of the soul. And, and, and we need people around us who are going to kick us in the rear and get us going in the right direction when we go in the wrong direction. That's called correction. That's 26 in this ministry where we talk about how do we fix people? How do we help other Christians? How do we confront them and, 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 and be the, the best we can be for their benefit, right? That's 26 in this ministry. 26, I explained to you what admonition means, correction, and, and so forth. Okay? Reproof, reproach, and rebuke, and admonish, okay? Or re-admonish. <laughs> they all start with R. Jeremiah, you say this is a, a quasi, yeah... I like it. It's beautifully done. These guys are, you know, all these guys I'm going through, I really like them a lot. And I shouldn't say it so much. I, I kind of leave it up to you to like what you like. But I, I get a little too emotional and a little too opinionated. Jeremiah, what is this? I'm going to call this a, a B from these guys. I'm going to give it a B or a low A or something. You can give it an A if you want to. I'm going to give this a B. For these guys and what they can do, I'll give this a B. Let's move on. And let's listen to Onward. With the cross of Jesus going on before. Christ is the royal master. He's leading us. He's the shepherd. And we're just sheep. He's king of kings. He's the morning star. He is the first and the last. Let's go. The amen. The almighty God. If you win this war, you get a crown of life, correct? Let's move on. Once again, these guys are having darkness here where they don't seem to need it, but and this, this is another B painting. Now, if you get up close, well, you might give it an A. Let's take a closer look. You might want to give it an A. Some of these paintings, you know, move it up one notch. Kind of. Now, you don't have to agree with my scale. Now, I got up a little closer. I am going to give it an A. As you can see, you, you kind of you, you might want to like it a little better, but that's just a, an opinion here. Going into battle now. Let's go. We're one in charity. We, we we give. We give expecting nothing again. We give uh, expecting returns in heaven. Correct. Correct. Okay, here we go with another kind of strange one. The, the background doesn't seem to be done that well. And uh, the people are well done. But once again, these guys are dark. They like darkness too much. And it ruins my rating for them. So they get a B from me in spite of the fact that these people are very real. And, and you're almost there. Uh, you know, these guys are talented. But with, with the cross of Jesus, we move on. And not only his cross, we carry our own cross. Take up your cross. That's what we're doing here too, right? His cross leads the way, but we carry our own. Take up your cross and follow me. He who does not take up his cross is not worthy of me. Cannot be my disciple. You can't be a disciplined one unless you put on discipline. Unless you devote yourself to service for the Lord, you can't be one of his. Translated in American terminology, Jesus does not like cream puffs hanging around. When there's work to be done. Cream puffs. Milk toast. What do you say about this, Jeremiah? I'm going to give this a... Um, let's give this a B. Looking at the trees and the sky, we might want to go A. Let's take a look. Forward into battle. Let's go. Now, getting a close-up, I'm going to give it an A. Yeah, I, I, this is an A. 
The tree has done very well for these guys. Usually they back off of trees a little, um, well, half of the time. A lot of painters do that, who are considered the masters and so forth. Onward, Christian soldier. You soldiers out there, stand strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Now, um, give us a B. Once again, why are these guys like darkness so much? They're the darkest painters, I think, I've, out of all the painters that I like, they are by far the darkest area painters by far. I don't know why. And it's kind of irritating because I'm a light man. Once again, doesn't mean they're not talented and I enjoy their work. Don't misunderstand me. <laughs> the sky has done very well here, and so is the building. Right, well, Jeremiah, don't tell me we got another bee on our hands. Yeah, I think we've got another bee from the younger brother here. I'm going to go ahead and give us a B for them. Uh, a little bit of a disappointment. Uh, still a decent painting. A lot of interesting details here. Uh, over here with these um, corridors here. Um, uh, pretty good job here with the color and possible sunset. But moreover, uh, a B for these guys. Okay. So we're going to a banquet to be with Jesus, and it's going to be exciting. So let us put on the full armor of God and win the battle and let's go to the marriage supper of Jesus Christ and you'll eat and dine with Moses and Aaron, other people who have decided to love Jesus and to seek his mercy and to seek to please the Lord. You'll be with the same minded people. There you go. How can you beat that? The Lord is on my side. I will not fear what man can do to me. Okay, here we go. Another B for me. Uh, let's take a close-up of this real quick. Let's go, soldiers. You're fighting for love and care. You're fighting for people getting their hearts mended. That's what you're fighting for. The Lord is willing to fight for people and, and, and to knock down walls to help people. And that's what we do. We're willing to knock down walls. I never forget we were in a health ministry with, for the elderly, and there was this one guy who tried to get in the way. We were trying to help a lady every now and then, and I thought to myself, you know what, this guy's going to get crushed. I thought to myself, because I know the Lord wanted me to go help this, uh, it was a pastor's widow, and I know the Lord wanted me to help the lady. And I thought to myself, this guy's going to get hurt. <laughs> and I, I, I may not even have to do anything. You know, the Lord's probably going to crush this guy. But every now and then the Lord will put his foot down. He's very merciful to mankind, obviously, and that's what that rainbow means here. You know, uh, it's a pretty good job for a rainbow, by the way. Difficult to paint uh, for, for the 20th century, 20th century artist. Now people know how to do things uh, technically and all of that. Uh, nice person, personal touch here. I'm going to go ahead and give this an A, and uh, we get we a little bit of a close-up. All I can give Ozzy is an A on this one, and maybe a B or something. Let's move on. Onwards, you Christian soldier. And we have uh, Jesus painted all coming up next. I mentioned out of order. I apologize. But we're going to go to, to uh, Jesus painted it all next. And let's talk about that for a moment. What separates Christians from other people in general? What separates us from most people is that most organizations, religious and otherwise, they base everything upon performance. Basketball, how well you put the ball in the rim. Football, how fast you can run. Uh, uh, archery, how well you uh, hit the bullseye. We don't have performance-oriented fellowship. Our fellowship is based upon the, the performance of Jesus Christ and the Father at the resurrection and the successful purchase of our sins by the deep love of Jesus. That's what we base our ministry on and our group on. That's our ideology. That's why Jesus painted all is so significant because around the corner over here, demonic witnesses, over here at the at the Mormon Latter-day Devils, over here at the Catholic uh, House of Hell over here, and over here uh, at Buddha, the, you, you, you must honor and worship your parents and kneel before them and all this kind of stuff. This is performance. I did the dishonorable thing. I must die. We don't do. We don't have that. 
Catholics have to scrape their knees sometimes and, and bleed or something. They carry rocks up the mountain. I had a movie where the guy carried rocks up the mountain. They had a lady who said that she was going to buy candles and, and she was going to get a husband. This is all performance. When you come to a Christian church, the only performance, the only, the only thing we talk about as far as somebody accomplishing it is something is Jesus. That's it. Now, does that, does that mean that you, that, you, that you can wander around here and do nothing? That's not the point. Onward, Christian soldier. Now we're going to Jesus paid it all. Now, what do we say about this one? I'm going to go ahead and give this. Once again, these guys are just have to have dark areas. And I, I like it. You know, it's not as I don't like it. It's just that it's too much. Too many paintings for me. Now, what do I give this? Obviously, these guys make you feel like you might go to heaven with these beautiful clouds. And the foreground is done nicely with some gentleman there. Um... Let's take a close look at this before we give it a final grade. I'm going to give this probably an A, okay? Let's get a close-up. Uh, now, see, after getting a close-up, I'm going to go with an A. Not bad. I'm not going to give it a B. This is pretty good. The sky is beautiful, and I'm a sky man, as you can tell. Uh, we, we talk about the sky all the time here. Uh, you know, the sky is everything, because that's where Jesus is. There's purity in the sky. There's no sin. There's no murder. There's no lying. There's no cheating. There's no weeping in the sky. There's only purity, laughter, and joy in the cloud with Jesus. Here we go. Another one. We're just about done. What do I call this? Masterpiece Theater. I'll give this a masterpiece. Uh, there's light. There's a source. Um, it's not a strong masterpiece per se, but the rock has done so well. The people, let's give Ozzy an A. Okay? Let's give him a, uh, I'm sorry, let's give him a, not an A. Let's give him a masterpiece rating on this one. I like, this is well done. Let's go to Jesus Paid It All. I can hear the Savior say, Find in me your all in all. Jesus paid it all. All to him I owe. My life left a crimson stain that nobody could move. But Jesus did it. And he washed it white as snow. Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. For nothing good have I. Jeremiah, you've done some good things in your life. I sure have. But I can't brag about any of them. They're all stained. The only person that, that, that can remove my jail sentence was the lovable Jesus Christ and the Father who sent him. Uh, this is a masterpiece for me. Let's move on. This is, this is one you can look at for a while. This was done, uh, in my opinion, uh, top notch. I like this. Let's move on. Here we have one that's very strange. Because once again, we have dark areas again with these guys. And the trees look very original. I like them. Um, the, rock, the rock side there, the, the cliff side there, done very well. The water looks original and nice. So what do we get? Because the trees are done so well here. He did a good job on the trees, in my opinion. The people look very well done. you got to give it an A. Uh, you might, almost, we might almost go quasi-masterpiece uh, here. So the hymns are really what we're getting into, and uh, there's smoke in here. We, we have a lot of fire here going with um, beautiful paintings on some of these videos I'm looking at here on my, on my website here. By the way, beauty's, actually, beauty is doing the best. Out of all my lessons, I thought beauty might do well um, as far as my viewers. Your beauty's doing really good, well now. And that's good, it's productive. We can't bring any worth to Jesus Christ. It's only going by the throne of, throne of grace. God only communicates people through the finished work of Jesus Christ. He, he never meets anybody based on 
their performance is only unmeritable favor, period. End of story. That's Protestant Christianity. Let's move on to a new song. Let's go to Be Still My Soul. Boy, is that a beautiful song. Be still my soul. The Lord is on your side. New Jerusalem. Bear patiently. Hold on. The cross that you own. And leave everything to God. He'll take care of things. You out there who are in distress, leave to your God. He'll order everything. Don't you burden yourself. In every change, be patient. What a beautiful picture I put on here. It's one of my favorite pictures in this song of the ocean. I'm going to go to that picture and talk about how it, move, it moves me into thinking about Jesus, some of these pictures. I look forward to going through these pictures with you, okay? That's after these paintings. I'm also going to show you time-lapse photography and show you that it's you not spinning, but the sky is spinning. I'm going to show that to you. And you can't, you can't say I, uh, that my physics are wrong. That's, that's pure science, okay? I'm looking at some of these pictures that I had here. Be still, my soul. Thy hope, thy confidence, let nothing shake you. Okay? Although things may be mysterious right now, you're in a conundrum and a little confused, keep looking at beautiful paintings. Keep looking at these beautiful new high-definition pictures. Listen to the hymns. Look at the words. Read the words about be still. Like a Hawaiian girl who waves her arms, settle down and relax and go with the flow. Be still, my soul. The Lord is on your side. The hour is moving on. Before you know it, you'll be in the presence of the Lord. Let's go to our next painting. This is a nice one. This is a quasi. This is getting up there. Let's get a close-up. We're just about done with an hour here. We're just about done. You get a close-up, you see a little more beauty here. You see it. Uh, it is a quasi. I'll give it a quasi masterpiece. I don't know if I'll give it a masterpiece. It's close. I can see why they like this one a lot, if my memory is correct. The, the populace here. I like it too. Once again, what's our light source here? I don't know what these guys are doing. I don't see enough light here for me as a as a painter to give a little criticism. Otherwise, of course, it's just a very beautiful painting. We, we wouldn't be looking at it if it wasn't just nice all the way around. And these guys are, you know, they're giving us some beauty. And we're just being a little overcritical, but let's move on. At least I am. Another thin one from these guys. Um, we're going to have to blow this one up. And the song says, give your best. I can't wait look, to go through these pictures that I have high def on here and my hymn here as we really get into some beautiful pictures, you guys, of you people out there. We're going to get into some beautiful pictures, guys and gals. And uh, we're going to look at it. I'm also going to give you that spinning dome that's above your head and prove to you that you're not moving. And I was right in high school when I told my teacher that we're not moving. I, th there's no... There's no... Uh, You know, there's no moving, there's no curve. Or, the Bible says the base of the world is flat. Look at this. What are we going to do? Okay. Jeremiah, what are you going to give us? I have to give it an A or a quasi. I'm going to go quasi on this. Let's go quasi masterpiece. Very well done. A quasi, okay? Enjoy the hymns as we get, we get, get into more hymns here. Um... Be still, my soul. My job is to help you to be still and to know that he is God as your Bible teacher. Let's move on and look and say, um, I'll give it an A. That's it. Now, these people dancing in here makes me nervous. It doesn't look like Christian church dancing, and I'm giving you my Quaker puritanical perspective. But I'm going to stick to that, okay? This is nearer my God to thee. Let's stop on that. 
even though it be a cross that raiseth me. In other words, Jesus said, take up your cross, and that cross is going to raise you to glory. When he, Jesus said, hold on to the cross. That means to hold on to what? To what he has for you, and man up, and get to work, and win the war. Okay? I'm going to give this a B or something, an A. Uh, we might go A on this. Let's, let's close up. If I give a close up, I'll probably give it an A, as I usually do. Uh, somebody's going to get close to these guys. And what are we going to say? Um, I'm going to stick to a B. Uh, this is one of the low ones for, for old Mr. Ozzy here. No doubt. What do you say to this, Jeremiah? Well, first of all, we say, Nearer my God to thee, even though it be a cross. If the Lord gives you some difficulties, it's going to bring you closer to him, and you just tell him that all you want is to be near him, and that everything that's happening is not that important. If you have a struggle, it doesn't matter, because long as you don't lose your crown of love, you don't want to lose that. And we, we exhort each other and push each other in this direction. Which is, let's get on the narrow and stay on the narrow. Get a close-up to get a, 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 what I like about it. We're over an hour. We're way over budget. Let's go. What are you going to say? I'm going to give this a B. Let's move on. Yeah, this is a B. They don't, make, they don't paint very many Bs, these guys. Let's go to this. What are you going to say about this? I want a close-up. Before we give it a grade, and we're going to go to more about nearer my God to thee, put my yoke upon you. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being equal to God, thought it not robbery to look, come down to earth and, and get involved in a lot of boo-boo, when he, which he didn't have to do. But who for the joy set before him decided to deal with it. And the joy set before him is me telling him thank you throughout eternity and blessing him with my thank you, Jesus, for, for putting up with me a knucklehead. <laughs> I'm going to give this an A. I like this one. This is okay. It has a nice broad view. I'll give this an A, okay? Let's get back to nearer my God to thee. What do we say to this? This is getting to masterpiece quality here. Once again, these guys are not good with light source in my opinion, but maybe there isn't a light source. Uh, what do you say to this one? I'm going to say, I'm going to say quasi master because I like White's views. As many of you have ascertained, I like space a lot. And what he's doing here is giving me a lot of space, and I like seeing space. I like seeing area. It, it speaks of God, of how great thou art. But let's get back to nearer my God to thee, even though it's making me close to you through difficulty, through troubles, that are going to help someone and heal the brokenhearted. He has healed the brokenhearted, opened wide the prison doors. Let's go. Let's get back to old Mr. Ozzy. Uh, this is a quasi uh, masterpiece. It's very close for me. I like it because it's clean and neat. As you know, these guys go into darkness all the time. Here we go again, this giant dark area here. However, I'm going to stop saying that. I'm going to give this an A. I like the rock here, done very well. Let's close up, we might move it up. But I give it an A, it's very well done. Um, no, I'm going to keep a, an A on this one. What gives an A for me is the beautiful rock here. I like that. The wall there is done nicely too, but let's move on. Nearer to the... Once again, Jeremiah, you're right about these guys. 
these guys are just like dark too much for me. You know, if they did everything bright like Mons did, I would, I would rate these guys higher. Um, but that's for you to ascertain. Let's go up close. Maybe we'll give it something better than an A or a B here. Let's, let's take a look. What do you say, Jeremiah, huh? They have a beautiful way of having an original tree. Give them a little credit for that. The statue looks good. Sorry, Charlie, you only get an A. Detail done really beautiful here. I gotta give it an A though, that's, that's just how we go. What do you say to this, Jeremiah? Okay, this is Masterpiece Theater. Every now and then these guys will give you a masterpiece and you got one right here. Let's go to our next song, which is, Oh, More Nearer My God to Thee. E'en though it be a cross, darkness be over me, my pillow, my rest, a stone. Still all my song will be near to the one we love, Jesus. Never far away. Ah, uh, this is a masterpiece for me. This is one of the better paintings for these boys, both of them. Uh, I give it a Masterpiece Theater uh, rating. And because it's taught, uh, the people are done well. Um, this is done well. The, even the volcano, the, uh, the, the, the lava looks pretty real. The, the sunset is done very well. Okay, we got to call this a Masterpiece. These guys have about 10 apiece for me. Let's go to our next song. Oh, we got a guitar solo here where I go wild on the guitar with Onward Christian Soldier. And yeah, th this is a masterpiece here. We have a, we have a strong light source here for me I like. Um, I don't think I've ever seen lava done that well. Uh, the distance looks really nice. It's kind of touching here. Uh, the people, of course, are done to near perfection. Uh, these guys, the, the, the nets, the fishing nets, wonderful job from Mr. Ozzy. We, and we see Jesus in this artwork. I, I, I see the master's hand all over the place here. So let's, um, let's go ahead and get ready for our next song which is come ye, you know, a solo time, where I have a wild, I like to give wild guitar solos and have fun, just expressing myself uh, wildly. I really enjoy it. This is Onward Christian Soldier with a guitar solo where I have a lot of fun. Let's blow this one up too. And when you blow this up, you can see a little more detail and see that, yes, I think indeed this is a master. One of the best paintings. This is one of the best 250 paintings I've ever seen. I'll put it top 500, easy. Uh, I might even go top 250. Yeah, I, I have to put this really high. These guys, these two boys are wonderful. And, and they make me think of Jesus and his beauty. I, I just can't stop thinking about God the Creator, how great thou art. Once again, I, I mentioned to you these guys like darkness. I wasn't playing. <laughs> it's, you know, it, it, it's probably the main reason why there are 15 and 16 and so forth here. I, I rate them. You know, I, I got these guys rated down kind of low. Uh, a lot of people ahead of them. But one of the reasons is I'm not into all this darkness, personally. However, it doesn't mean I don't like them a lot. I, I still have them high rated. See his banner go, the holy God, the Christian soldier, marching us to war. And uh, your new status is now a servant child. I was thinking about making a category servant child here, but uh, that, that's down the road. To teach you those two terms, they're very significant. 
Once again, the sky is done so nicely with these guys, so consistently, that it makes you kind of, oh, beautiful, beautiful sky. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain in the USA. This is obviously Europe. Let's move on as Jeremiah is your orator. He's speaking. He's talking about fighting hard here and getting down and dirty and fighting here. And that is for souls and that is for, for, for uh, uh, planting and watering. One plants, one waters. Neither one of them are anything. God is everything. He is the one causing the growth. What do you say to this one? Let's get a close up. I'm thinking, A, that's about it for this close-up. Let's take a look. By the way, I haven't, looked at these, I haven't looked at these in a while, and I haven't blown them up and taken time, uh, at least recently, okay? I'm going to give this, I'm going to give it an A, and uh, that's it. The, the Catholic image really turns me off. Uh, I'm very sad about that whole um, great harlot Babylonian incident here. Once again, I really like the, the job on these stones here. These guys are very good. They're, they look beautiful, those stones. But let's move on. I'm going to give this um, an A. Or a quasi. We, we can go back and forth. A and a quasi is, you know, the, very well done. Now here we might call this a masterpiece because it's consistent. Um, and it's, hot, it's, it's heavy on the realism, of course. And that's one of the knocks on these guys is that they're really a little heavy too on the realism and we're not getting much of a personality. Uh, let, let me give an example. Rockwell is, is known for heavy realism. Uh, one of the best painters in American history. He is Mr. Saturday Evening Post. Mr. Early 20th Century America, without a doubt. And um, he does these kind of paintings, right? And uh, the knock on it is, where's our personality and so forth? But I'm going to call this a masterpiece in spite of the fact that, it, that it's heavy on realism. Because I do see some personality here with this cart, and uh, I see a little personality here. You know, remember, you know, one of the reasons why I like 20th century painting, and many of you probably do too, is because you're not getting an actual picture; you're getting a personal perspective, and, and that's what I like. Okay, and uh, you, you may agree or not agree. I'm going to give this masterpiece status here. I like this. What about this? Well, let's blow this one up. All right, we're done with Onward Christian Soldier. We're going to come to Come Ye Disconsolate. Wherever you anguish, wherever you're depressed, wherever you're sad, come on to Jesus. Come you who are not happy. That's what it means. Anguish, sadness. Depression. Come to the mercy seat. Go meet Jesus on the mercy seat. Go to him and seek mercy. He knows that you're not perfect. Therefore, it's called a mercy seat. You're sitting in a place where God knows that you aren't perfect. And yet he's still going to bless you and encourage you and give you his love and give you beauty like we're looking at right here, okay? Once again, these guys and their light source and dark, I'm going to still give this quasi-master. That wall looks really nice there. Uh, the people look really nice. The fishnets. The water looks nice. I'm going to give this a quasi or an A, okay? Bring your wounded heart to Jesus Christ. Earth has no power, no problem, that the Master cannot solve. But you're going to have to come to Him scientifically and confess who you really are. And come in humility, okay? I'm going to give this a B and move on. I do like the people here. Let's get a close-up. We're just about done.
We have an hour and 20 minutes, which is like beyond the limit for me. Ah, uh, because Oswald is very prolific. He's one of the best. Pretty soon we're going to stop going through a lot of paintings. Most of my painters from the remainder of this uh, lesson with, with these painters, they only have a few paintings. Oswald's one of our last heavy hitters. I'm going to go ahead and give this a standing. Monochromatic, a very good job on the animals and people there. You might even want to give it a quasi, uh, once again, the same painting before, but this time with more light, same location. I'm going to give this a B. We're going to move on. Uh, you can find this if you want to online and so forth. Um, I just wrote some of the people who provide these paintings and told them, we, we, can't, we can't support you as much as we'd like to because you have nudity and stuff in your pro, pro, portfolio. If it was all G-rated, we could get on board and, and, and you know, support and so forth. Because G-rated G entertainment, we don't mind supporting uh, off and on. Jeremiah, another B, yes. Good Sky, yep. A B, we're going to pass this. Very, very little for me to remark on. Another B, let's move on. Uh, what do you see here? Dark areas again. Uh, Ozzy, what happened? Here we go again. Another maybe, a B. It's difficult to really kind of like this for me personally. Uh, it's not a bad painting. Come you who are sad, disconsolate, and, and be consoled. Find something that makes you happy, and that's what, that's what consoling means. Obviously, uh, consoling can be bad. Um, that is, we won't go into that right now. But we're going to move on. What do we have? Another one. This one's a little better. Uh, I might give this one an A because we're seeing people clearly. Uh, we're going to move on because this is another one that I don't want to spend time on. We're, at, we're already an hour and 20. We're back to the one we had earlier. Uh, another one. Uh, I think we had this earlier. I think we're starting over again. Wait a minute. We're done with Ozzy. Oh, we have some more of him here. Wait a minute. Here's one that's really nice. But we're out of time with Ozzy. He's done. We're done with him. Uh, very nicely done. Another one here that looks like uh, Carl Spitzweg, a famous painter. Another one that's another view that I don't care for too much. We're going right through that one. We already saw this. And here's one that we didn't look at too much that actually has, has some merit. But we're out of time. Another one that's kind of nice that has some merit. No more time, not bad. We're back to that one. And now we're getting to another, I think this is Hacker, another painter. So here we have one that's, one, I like this one. Uh, but we're, we're out of time, okay? That's one of his standards. I might give that an A. And this one we didn't hit. Let's move it. This one I'm going to give a masterpiece status because we're just about done an hour and a half, okay? Um, I'll give this masterpiece status here. I like the tree. Once again, these guys really like dark areas. But that's okay. But I'm going to give this a masterpiece status. The detail... And I like the idea of having detail and personality, okay? Lord with me abide, okay? Now, you see watermelon or something down there? You're looking at some, some uh, good skills here. Uh, these skies get really big. And I have to say this is one of my top 200, 500 paintings. The trees are done very well. I, I can tolerate this darkness here. Um, uh, the fruit, uh, the water. I'm going to give this masterpiece status. And, and plus they're throwing in some originality. Um, and I think that's very important. I, I, you know, I like this original. This is not realism here. The, the firework situation here. The well-done boat uh, the canvas is really neat. 
and this is masterfully detailed here, and uh, we're going to call this a masterpiece. Another masterpiece, even though it's dark, we got to give credit where it's due. In my opinion, this is pretty nice. Let's, cl let, let's close up on this, and I'm going to call this another master, or at least a quasi. Very close, okay? Yeah, that's nicely done. The water, uh, that water is really nicely done. Fire looks nice. Um, the lights, some, some sort of city lights here and something, very well done. This is a master here. Sky, very good. Oswald, good job. You're giving me Jesus. That looks beautiful. I, I see this beauty, and I think of Jesus. Let's move on to, what song are we on here? Um, this is Abide With Me, right? Lord, with me, abide. Be near, that's what it means. And, and that's a beautiful song for this painting, isn't it? Lord, with me, abide. In life and in death, O oh Lord, abide with me. Yeah, this is a smoker here. And this is a top 500. What do you do with this one? Let's get a close up. I give it an A right away. But do I move it to quasi or... I'm going to give this a B or an A. Move on. This one we're going to give a B or an A without even spending any time because we we're almost an hour and a half over. That's way, that's far too long. <sighs> this is another nice one from this guy. I thought we were done, but he is really challenging me time-wise. He's that good, in my opinion. He's one of the best, and his volume is high. Um... He's got about 10 masterpieces, which is what the average is for your top 25 painters in my book. They all have about 10. This is a quasi here because of the originality of the tree for me. It reminds me of Bassov or someone, but we're going to move on. Every passing hour, but what thy grace affords me. There we go. The grace of God appeared to men. Here's a painting that looks a lot like Spitzweg. We'll, we'll be getting into him next week. And, uh, who like thyself, Lord Jesus? Through cloud and sunshine, Lord, abide with me. This, this looks a lot like Spitzweg here. I'm going to give this, this is well done. I like this. I'm going to give this at least an A. I'm going to give this a quasi masterpiece. I like this one. This is close. This is very well done stuff, in my opinion. And it, it reminds me of abiding with Jesus. It, it reminds me of love and beauty, all this creation that God has allowed us to see. The people there, everything. And of course, the people have done very well here. I can't really focus on that. Let me see. If you can look and see here, I can't blow that up without blowing it too high, and I have to move the camera. So we're gonna we're gonna move on. I mean, it's a standard what they do. Very good job on people and so forth. But they're different people every time. It's very interesting. Once again, Jeremiah, you're right about these guys. Why are they always dark? 50 to 60 percent of their paintings, I don't know. It's a little irritating because it make you, you have to strain your eyes a little bit, you know. And and uh, once again, they have a lot of good bright paintings. We're not saying that they do it all the time. Let's get a close up and give it, give us a grade. We're just about done here. I thought we were done earlier, but I'm going to go ahead and give this a quasi masterpiece. Quasi. Um, no, I'm going all the way master on this one. I'm going to go all the way Master Inspire the Dark Images, okay? I'm going all the way Masterpiece. 
on this one. Oh, that's how much I like this one. He, as I said, he's got at least 10 masterpieces, this guy. He, he, he's just like everybody else we go through here. I'm going to go ahead and put him with the, with the best boys here. Here we have what we might call a, an A. Let's go. Let's go. We've got to move on. Abide with me. I like the leaves here. Um, and I like this area here. Once again, you'll notice about these guys, they almost always have to have something dark. And I don't, it's kind of scary with me. It's a little spooky. Let's move on. I'll give that a B or an A or something. We're back done. We're back to Hans Dahl. And we don't want to close on him. We want to close on the boy here himself. The, low, the, the younger of the two. Aachen boys. Very famous guys. We're done. That's it. Hour and a half or so. Shalom and Maranatha. We just listened to Lord Abide With Me. Through everything. There is no shadow of turning with Jesus Christ. We're done. I love to tell the story of unseen things above, of Jesus and his glory, of Jesus and his love. We're done. I, I had a great time doing this. I had this new TV to do it with too. This TV does a very good job on the 480 uh, format, I think. It gives you a top-notch view. It's not as good as looking on the computer, you know, professionally done. This is done on the fly. But I'm, I, I find it adequate, and I don't have any more time to fix the painting and, and so forth, get a better camera. No, we're, we're rolling with this. We're, I'm a Bible teacher here. I'm not a, a cameraman, which many of you have already ascertained. There, Jeremiah, we're done. That's right. We're going to shut down looking and for, listening to the horn of Gabriel so we can be with the one who loves you and who gets you away from all of this. There was a gun found by the building over here. Uh, the police came. He said that this town is getting worse, he said. The crime is ratcheting up here. It's getting worse. I told him we'd pray for him, and I feel sorry for him. He worked a double shift. He looks nervous, and, and, and we rely on these people. It's sad. I, I want the stress of this police officer to stop. And the only way it's going to stop is the rapture. It's gotten so bad that you really can't change things now. The Bible says it's going to stay this way. Uh, the president and, and people have come on TV and said, we're going to turn the train around. That's utter nonsense. Now, can you help things? We, we, we hope you do, and you probably will before the rapture, which is coming any day. But as far as you transforming 35% of the population, the Bible says they're, they're in stone and they're wicked and they're not going to change. Timothy chapter 3 and elsewhere, okay? We're done. Maranatha means the Lord is coming. That You can find that in Corinthians 16. I'm done as we focus on that most of the time here. And after seeing that police officer here all stressed out, a young man, probably 30 years old, uh, manning up for the community here, um, we, we want this to stop. I don't want these young Americans to be stressed out and, and, and facing guns and bullets, uh, which, which they're going to continue to do so. That's quite clear. And I know the only way it's going to stop is the rapture. Then there's seven years of mankind left without Jesus Christ being in charge. That's it. Right now you could be looking at seven years and a couple of days left for the devil and being in charge. It's over. All these paintings are revealing what's coming and pertaining to peace, people being happy, uh, enjoying their life without any harassments, healthy people, that's where we're going. That's what I want to emphasize in these paintings and in these pictures. Now, it doesn't mean we're, we're ostriches and we're not going to talk about Babylon, the beast. No, I'm going to have to get into that a little later on this year. I'll give you some details. I have the book of Revelation right here. I have chapter uh, Genesis right here. We're going to get into Isaiah. And Isaiah has a lot of negativity. How God's going to punish people in detail. 
We will not focus on it, but I will touch on it. As you know, I'm committed to one or two years of very positive scriptural analysis. Very positive. Jesus is going to sing to you in a garden, maybe, in Isaiah. Uh, you're going to get the robe of righteousness put on you. You're going to shine. You're going to eat a fruit so that's some amazing fruit. You're going to drink out of a sparkling river. Uh, this is what we focus on here, and we're going to do that for at least two years. We're almost at a two-year point. I said I was going to do this for two years. By the way, it doesn't mean that we have not touched on a lot of negativity. We have. However, we have really focused 80% or more on good things coming to you, and let's get positive. Let's think about the agape love that you own, no matter what happens to you. And you don't want to lose that love and that crown of glory in heaven. You don't want to lose that, so we push each other. Iron sharpens iron. You tell me to stay on my toes, I tell you to stay on yours. If I start going adrift, you tell me, stop it, rebuke me, correct me, reprove, warn me, admonish, tell me what to do. That's reproof. So let's, let's shut down. That's it for the day. Um, Maranatha. Jeremiah's going to shut down singing to Jesus Christ that you love Jesus Christ and you do not want to miss the rapture. You children out there, if you, uh, we get a few children. Uh, this is an all-ages ministry. You don't have to be burdened about the rapture. You're basically already raptured. When we talk about rapture and pushing uh, righteousness, we're basically talking to adults and especially teenagers and so forth. Teenagers have uh, Grand Theft Auto, which is horrible, unacceptable for, uh, for we Quakers. They have a lot of stimuli, and we're going to try to get them on the right track. Horror movies, out the dough, as my buddy used to say. That's out the dough. Horror movies, violence, drugs, alcohol, cigarettes, out the dough. Romance before marriage, out the dough. We push righteousness here. Don't let these artworks and, and some of these paintings... So we, 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 we have a couple of paintings that got through here that are not really Quaker paintings, but we're not going to freak out. I want you to understand one thing before we close. We're Puritans, but we're not Puritanical. Uh, I used to work at the beach passing out gospel tracts with Steve and a couple of, other, couple of other brothers. Robert used to go with me. And we passed out gospel check, and there were women there that weren't properly clothed at all. But we didn't freak out and go, ah, oh, you know, get them, you know, uh, we're Muslims, you know, let's attack them. We're not Muslims. However, we do push Puritan values. In other words, I could walk up to that lady and give her a gospel track and say, Ma'am, give your life to Jesus and dress appropriately. You don't want to talk to people who can't receive your information. It's water off a duck. You wait for people to be receptive. That's it. Maranatha. Hallelujah. Amen.